Greetings, I'm Matt and this is my 2001 Mark IV Golf V6 4 motion. Now previously I swapped this vehicle for my Vauxhall Vectra which was only a 1.8 and I'm telling you this is a swap of the century. What an amazing car but I've, um, I've had to do a lot of work on it this weekend so I'm just going to show you what I've been up to and then when you come back we'll crack on with the OBD port reader because it's not picking up, it's not working. So we need to investigate why the OBD reader isn't working. So that will be the next plan of action. So I'll see you in a moment. Right, so I have found another problem and trying to remove this dog cage at the back here, um, I've discovered that this seat goes down, but this side, the handle, when you lift it up, does absolutely nothing. So what I'm going to do is um, to try and release it because I've had a look around and I thought, thought well maybe if I can release some of the lever I can get to the unit but you can't get the headrests out because there's not enough headroom. Um, so what I've done is I've forced the handle out and it is just clipped in so I forced the handle out and then I'm going to try and get this bit out and then once I've got this bit out I am going to be Right, yeah, anyway, bloody background noises. So once, <laughs> once I've got this bit out here, this plastic bit, I'm not sure how it's going to come out. But once I've got that out, hopefully I can get a cable down, a bit of um, a coat hanger to try and remove it. Because the latch, let's see from this side, so you've got the handle, and when you lift the handle up, it should do that and it should be quite there should be some tension on it but when i was lifting this handle up it would just come up and stay up so i think it's safe to say that's snapped at the bottom there so i do need to get another handle i don't know if we can get another handle i presume we can um yeah so i'll update you uh if i have any joy or if i don't have any joy so after spending the best part of maybe an hour and a half fiddling around inside trying to latch on to the latch to release the seat um, I ended up going around the back and just getting a screwdriver and prising it and, it and it came off really easy and it literally took me about a minute from the back that I'd wasted so many hours in here this morning so what I've done is we can release it oh, I can't do it with this hand So I've got an old bike spoke. It's a stupid design, it's all bloody plastic in here, but there's a bit of plastic that goes through and what I've done is I've latched that bit of metal on. And now I don't know, oh you can see it there. There's a little hole, I bent it over, push it through, bent it over. So that's not going to, um, that can't come off at all. What an absolute nightmare that was. So, so it looks like I need to sort that out. I spent ages using things like this, trying to hook onto it. And of course you can't see anything in there. An absolute nightmare. I don't know. I don't know whether to replace that or not. Just leave it as it is. I'm not too fast. Not for now. But I've just come over here. Thought I'd have a look at the electrics. Gone through all the fuses. And I have found that number 12. Which I think number 12 might be for the OBD port. So that's blown. And that was a 7.5. So I found another 7.5 amp. And I can whack that one in. And then uh, we'll give the OBD port reader a go. Oh, but what a night nightmare. So I've just been going through cleaning everything out and I did notice that, although it's not on now, the interior lights are now working since replacing that fuse. 
so all of the interior lights are now working currently but I don't know if you noticed in the last video but in the background I noticed it not too afterwards but all of this area here is all like water stained don't know how well the camera is going to pick that up I would say that that aerial's leaking. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get that aerial off and I'm going to get a standard aerial and just put a standard one back on again and see if we can uh, rectify this leak. It's annoying, which means all this watermark, all this water stains, that's not gonna come out. That's there for good. So that's a new headlining. But what I could do is I could actually take the headlining out and we could recover it. Maybe with a darker material. I don't know. But yeah, just removed all the plastics. I took all of this trim off, cleaned everything, cleaned all the boot, cleaned all of this. But I'm really impressed with, you know, how much room there is here and with the headrests, how they just store in the base. That's amazing. Little things that you know, I've never seen it on other cars before. And for, you know, what was it, 22 years old? Huh. It's ahead of its time. But as you can see, it is absolutely minging. Um, yeah, the chairs are filthy. We do have some leather cleaner somewhere. So I will clean it all out. But I've only started hoovering the boot. Start from the back, work my way forward. Yummy. busy on it this weekend we've got plenty done and something else that I failed to mention was uh, <laughs> I think the uh, previous owner's nipper must have been Captain Thunderpants <laughs> wow someone's talked about that. that's actual burn that's been lighter fluid and flame yeah someone didn't like it did they and I had to repair that door cover, the actual trim. So like this side, it's, um, it's come away and it's not seated. Usually because you lean on here and you, know, you put your elbow in here and it's quite easy to break the plastic clips that are in behind there. So I've already repaired the driver's side, but I've left it off on this side because the micro switch doesn't work on the door lock. So I'm gonna be replacing the micro switch 
So we'll do that in one episode on its own, just doing the micro switch and sorting out this door. Um, also the mirror, I don't know if you can notice, but it's a mechanical mirror on here. And in fact, what should be on here is an electric mirror. So I'm gonna have to get hold of another mirror as well. I'll put that on my list from Silver Lake if I hear back from them today, hopefully, because uh, I've emailed them with a list of all the parts that I need. So we'll see what happens. The speakers need replacing because you touch it and it falls apart. I don't know if anyone's seen a speaker that bad before, but literally, look at this. It just leaves a dent and just, yeah, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> those speakers that had it so we have to get some speakers all around so we get the speakers in the front we need tweeters the same in the back there's tweeters and normal speakers i've got the door card down here that is repaired um, and hopefully that will fix that because it's a temperamental pin switch one minute it was working and one minute it wasn't so yeah the uh they do work um but yeah the next port of call is the obd port reader Got to sort that out, so I need to investigate why that isn't working. But I've gone through, and while I was fixing things, and while I was cleaning, yeah, a lot of it, I was just fixing as I was going. So we have to replace some bulbs as well. Actually, one of the bulbs up here, um, fit in here, that's broken. I don't know what's up with all this headline, it's dodgy. We have to replace all the headline and sort all of that out. Um, other things that weren't working was the cup holder, so that, um, it didn't actually work at all but i've put a little bit of wd-40 on there and we'll just wait for that to settle in i guess and i'll just have to keep spraying it and i think what must have happened is i think someone must have spilled a bit of a drink on here a bit of coke or something and just made it all sticky but yeah a bit of use plenty of wd on there and that'll keep that working fine okay um so I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I need to check, make sure there's power coming to the OBD port reader, which is going to be fun. Um, actually, I might do that in a whole video on its own because I think from the weekend, we got quite a lot of work done. Well, I need to wait for a few things to arrive. I have ordered them off eBay, like a micro switch, um, some new little plastic clips to hold the door trim on because a lot of them were broken. So I've ordered a few things off eBay, so we'll wait for them to arrive. We'll do all of that later in the week when it all arrives. Um, but for now, I'm going to get on with the OBD port reader. So join me next time when we crack on with that. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you liked it. Thumbs up, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you next time. Take care, stay safe, and God bless.